Hey guys, welcome back to Fundamentally Crypto. And in today's video, I'm just going to show you how to claim your crowd loan rewards uh, for those that participated in the Moonbeam crowd loan and also how to stake it. Cool. So the first thing you need to do is you need to connect uh, your MetaMask and you need to add the Moonbeam network to your MetaMask wallet. So firstly, what you want to do is you want to make sure you have your MetaMask open. So you click on your MetaMask and just wait for it to load um, and then it should prompt you to switch to the mean moonbeam network if you've already installed it um, now if you haven't installed the moonbeam network into your metamask wallet what you want to do is you want to click on uh, click on that drop down you want to click on add network and it's going to take you to a new tab and then from here you want to fill in these details so these are the details you want to fill in so I'm, you can just pause the video and you'll check it's all of these details here. Um, I'll paste them in the description, but uh, yeah, just make sure you do this correctly. Cool. So now once you've done that, um, you should have the network connected. Then what you wanna do is you wanna go to this site, which is the moonbeam um, apps.moonbeam.network forward slash moonbeam. And then what it's gonna ask you to do is it's gonna ask you to connect your moonbeam wallet. So now that you've connected it, you switched to that network and then you'll see there's your glimmer allocation that you currently have um, now once you're over here you get to this moonbeam page so um, I've already staked mine but I'm going to show you how to do it step by step so what you want to do is you get to this home page and over here it'll show you um, okay what is your current free balance so for those that already have the crowdland reward it'll be over there next up you want to scroll down and you want to go to manage delegations or <coughs> you'll you'll have the option to delegate to um, a new a new collator so what you want to do is you select a collator okay and now you're going to get a list of candidates okay so um, the key thing you need to remember here is self-bonded refers to what the collator has bonded himself Right, total bonded refers to the total amount of glimmer that's been bonded in this pool. Um, delegations refers to the number of delegations or the number of people that have delegated their own stake to this actual collator. And the minimum bond refers to the minimum amount of glimmer that you can actually um, bond to this collator. Okay, so I'm going to link this article for you below, but specifically it just breaks it down. So your API will range between 15 and 30 percent okay and that that will vary especially now at the start and then this is one of the most important things you need to understand so the Moonbeam collator API depends on two things so firstly the less the total backing of the collator the more rewards you will get and then secondly the more blocks per round the collator authors the more rewards you will get so if we jump back here right Remember, we are looking at the total backing of the collator. So that's over here, the total bonded. So the lower this number is, the more rewards you will get. Okay. And secondly, the more blocks per round the collator authors, the more rewards you will get. So that you can see over here in this tab, where the more blocks they did, um, that will, will translate into more rewards for you. Okay. Cool. Um, so next up, I want to take you to a site, and this is our, our video sponsor, and um, I've actually used them before they approached me, but they've got a really, really nice site to help you decide who to stake with and who, which collator to choose. So up, up here, you can see what's the current API, APY, and because it just launched, it's around 500%, so I remember this figure will come down as more people start staking into these collators. So they spell out all the specific details here, and you need to like I said, you need a minimum of 50 glimmer. Um, remember, you should prefer collators with less backing um, because that means you get more rewards. And then what you want to do here is when you scroll down, um, you get the collator name, you get the blocks per round, you get the minimum bond, the amount of delegations currently with them, and the total backing. So what you can do is if you click on this, so if you click on backing, right, and you click it again now i'm sorted by the those with the least amount of backing okay so this means i would get the highest reward from this collator okay but now your second step needs to be 
you want to see how many blocks per round did they produce in the last 28 rounds because what would that mean that would mean that in the last week not specifically just in the last round 28 rounds refers to a week um, and that'll that'll tell you okay the implied apy would be 417 percent okay so here you can see that this one with this amount of backing had an average of 37.83 blocks whereas this one had an average of 52 blocks but has slightly more backing so um, you can play around here and you can uh, you know try and figure out which one is the best for you so uh, what i would recommend is the this network over here diversified validated network so they are they've got a really really good and consistent amount of block production and they don't have that much backing so um, you can find them over here you'll be able to basically just click on that it takes you down here and you can see the average is 52.97 uh, blocks and they've got an APY of around 500% uh, with only 109,000 kilometers so I'd recommend the diversified validated network to stake with so what you do next is now you go back to the app and you say okay cool where you want to search for this one so you search for diversified validator network okay so you copy that address and then um, this is now the one you select and then you click uh, your amount so you would have selected that collator you select the amount of limit that you are going to delegate and then you click delegate then simply you sign the transaction and then you should be good to go and then when you go back to your dashboard it'll show you over here okay this is the amount of um, glimmer that you're currently staking and then it will also reveal what your current staking rewards are so i'm going to link this um, below this article but just remember that in the first few weeks after the launch these numbers will change and so a collator that seems like a great choice today might not look like a good one tomorrow so um, yeah I, I think the diversified validator network is pretty good um, if you even just look at their website and understand this, they're definitely one of the top performers. So, yeah, guys, that is how you stake. If you have any questions, please let me know. Cheers.